Sometimes we hold on to things because we have an emotional attachment and we need to let it go. We need to start having a spiritual attachment to things and get rid of the, the trash out of our life. The devil uses TV to change our desire. Don't forget this. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. The devil uses desires to deceive us. And God's saying, put that off. Get rid of it. Get it out of your life. So how do we prevent the devil's influence on our mind and on our heart? In Numbers 33, he says, But if ye will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which ye let remain of them shall be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. Moreover, it shall come to pass that I shall do unto you as I thought to do unto them. You must choose to drive out the demonic influence in your life. Right. And you may say, okay, I'm going home, I'm cleaning it up, I'm canceling Netflix, or I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of this, but I'm going to hold on to this one thing. I mean, I bought this when I was, you know, this was my first CD I bought. I just want to hold on to that. This one's special. That's a collector's edition. I don't want to throw that away. I'm going to hold on to that. God's saying that's going to vex you. It's going to be pricks in your eyes and a thorn in your side. Amen. God may punish you along with the wicked if you continue to let the wicked stay in your life. Let the wickedness... He may punish you like you're an unsaved person. You know, God will correct those that He loves, right? He will chasten them if you're sons. We're our sons and daughters of the Most High God. And remember in Ecclesiastes, He said, better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of desires. He says, pricks in your eyes. Can you imagine taking a pen and stick it in your eyeball? It's the same thing when you open up the TV, when you open up your Netflix, whatever it is, and you let the devil come in, you might as well physically hurt yourself. You might as well impale your eyeball. You know, Jesus said, if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. So your choice today is do you want to cast your eyeball out so you don't have a problem watching Hollywood movies? Or would you rather cast the TV out? It's a lot easier to throw the TV out, right? It's a lot easier to go online and cancel Netflix. It's a lot easier to take your cable box back. Hey, you need help canceling your cable? I'll climb up the pole for you. I'll disconnect it. I'll take your box back for you. I want to help you get more righteous in God's eyes. I want to help you grow as a Christian. 